hello and welcome back to another daily vlog hope you're all well it's been a right one this morning alarm didn't go off panicked anyway everything got sorted on time and the boy is at school anyway another video of i don't know what so stay tuned and um if you enjoyed the video consider giving me a big thumbs up it really helps me out subscribe if you haven't already why not it's free and you can always unsubscribe <laughs> don't do that though hit the bell for notifications oh, sorry about that just bumped into some people <laughs> and if you want to support me further you can and get a shout out in a future video you can buy me a coffee the link is in the description there is super thanks or you can buy something from one of our shops and pop a message in they are both on our channel or on my channel sorry this is not our channel <laughs> this is my channel <laughs> Oh, I'm out of breath. It's freezing cold. There's frost on the floor. I'm gonna go home and have a cup of tea. And yeah, let's see what the day brings. See you shortly. Just finished doing a bit of listing, and this is sold on um, auction. So another thing, like where I say to you, I make mistakes. So hopefully you don't have to. <laughs> I stole that from George Ross, but it's so true. I think we, as a collective on here, YouTubers, most of us like to show the mistakes as well as the triumphs. And yeah, this was a mistake. So basically, I have made money on this, but it wasn't really worth it. So what happened was I bought this. It was It's an air purifier, but it's a vintage one. It works. So that wasn't the problem, but I paid, I think I paid £5 for it, £4.99. And I thought that it was worth around £50. I've had it listed about six months. And it's only had the interest of one very lovely, helpful person who told me that I won't sell it for that as the filters you probably can't get anymore and he was willing to pay me £20 which I didn't understand because I thought why do you want to buy it if it's useless and I won't sell it for that um why do you want it you know if you can't get filters for it that's what he said as well you can buy brand new ones for £50 from Ikea or something and I was like okay fair enough you know but these people that take their time to tell you these things, yeah, well, we won't go into that. But anyway, it turns out it was probably right because <laughs> this has gone for 9 99 plus postage. Um, I put five five ninety nine postage on it. It went for 9 99 one bid. It had two watches, but only one person bidded. But as we know, watchers don't mean anything. Watchers can just mean people being nosy. It can mean people just watching your stuff. It can mean people have got other options. It can also mean people have the same thing and want to see how much it goes for. So never think because you've got loads of watchers that that's a good thing because it isn't always. And I do know that a lot of you know people that watch my channel will watch things too, and that's fine. So I never go by watchers, but yeah bit of a fail um so my advice is which i should follow myself make sure that when you find stuff like this you do the comps you find if you can sell it you see how many have sold with vintage things it can be quite confusing because there isn't always loads of them sold anywhere because they're old but if there's a few Go about what prices there are with things like this and just be careful what you're spending your money on. I have made probably about £2 after fees and postage and everything else. So, yeah, not really worth the hassle. A big thing that took up a lot of room, a big thing that requires a lot of parceling. And, yeah, we've had it about six months. So be careful, guys, what you're picking up. <laughs> So, hi, I've had another Etsy sale. <laughs> I'm so excited. This lovely bana green banana leaf dish, which is obviously made of green glass, 
it's gorgeous i had it listed on ebay and etsy and etsy got the sale 14.99 plus postage really happy with this i didn't know whether i'd made the right decision buying this it cost me two pound um i've had it about three months maybe two months actually maybe not as long as that about two months i think and yeah i thought at the time i like it it's nice someone else will like it too and that was my mentality i couldn't find much about it when i was looking at comps so i just went with my gut on this one and i was right so it just shows you sometimes it does pay off to just buy things that you like 14.99 plus postage etsy is a winner this time happy days okay so apart from a dress one dress this is what i've got to list and then i am gonna start my basically see how much stock i can get rid of and see how high i can get my 90 day total by the end of february i'm excited but i'm nervous i'm hoping that i will get quite high with my listings well, not with my listings. I'm hoping I get low with my listings and high with my 90 day total. So it shows that sometimes you don't have to be buying stuff and listing new stuff all the time. I mean, I've got over a thousand things in my shop at the minute, but I will be showing you my actual dash so we can keep an eye on it. Every, every single video after I've listed these, I'm going to do a start and then I will do it all the way through until the 28th of February. And the last video that I do will be um, on the day that I do the prize draw for my 2,000 subscriber special. So, yeah, I'm listing these. I've got these Vandal shoes I'm going to list, this Pavers bag, this lovely makeup organiser bag, musical jewellery box, shape sorter, makeup bag, load of Polly Pocket stuff some caprice boots and these doll parts which i think i'm gonna get rid of the torso because the torso is really broken and sell the legs arms and head <laughs> which fe feels really wrong and really brutal but yeah there is money in doll parts what can i say so yeah i'm gonna get these on and then i'm gonna start so i've got one dress to list which i probably won't include i'll just put that on whenever and um yeah i'll keep you posted on how i get on it's quite exciting so literally it's listing minimal items i think i am gonna do it so i aren't listing anything after i do my first screenshot of where i am listing wise and 90 day total wise because otherwise it's not going to be a true experiment is it so i'm not going to buy anything after I've listed these and the dress and then that's it I will be going all the way through till the end of February without listing a single thing so we will see it's a risky experiment but it's an interesting one so let's see how we get on okay so I have listed everything and this is my starting 90 day total and my starting amount of listings Let's see how far we can get this down and get the 90 day total up. <laughs> Anyone remember this really obscure board game that I bought about, probably about getting on for a year ago, I think. I paid, I think it was 2 75 And the weird thing is, I have had no interest in this. Well, that's not weird because it's, yeah, it's an obscure game. I think unless you have a childhood memory of this or you're a collector you're not going to be really bothered about it but yeah the weird thing is I paid 275 and I got an offer of 1275 I think it was on for about 17 so I took it that's with postage as well um you know well plus postage should I say not postage included you know what I mean so yeah the ulcers game is going and it's another thing out of our bedroom which I aren't going to show you the state of at the moment because it is a mess in here but things are going down that I can tell you <laughs> but yeah happy with this sale um 
it's kind of like Monopoly, I believe. But yeah, whoever's got this is either getting it for some sort of quirky reason or nostalgia, I would have thought. <laughs> A couple more sales to show you. So these have literally come out before I finished listing my items, I will add. So these are in the clear stock experiment or the 90 day total experiment they were already in there so yeah i sold this jacket this was my own jacket back when i was slim um it's a vera murder one um i used to think when i started reselling that this brand was really good because i bought this jacket brand new and it was quite expensive or so i thought um anyway i got 13 pound well just over 13 pound for it plus postage it's just a gray like smart jacket with short sleeves yeah so that was basically cost nothing and got 13 pound plus postage this clock i bought for a pound i've had it about six months and um, it does work i have tested it but obviously i'm not sending it with any batteries and it has gone for 12 pound plus postage so it hung around for a little bit i thought this would go quicker um, with it being quite a quirky item but to be honest I think these are quite mass mass produced so I probably wouldn't pick one up again um not bad profit wise but it's just that they do hang around so I want to try and move in to March when I start buying stuff again with a new attitude of I'm buying things that sell quickly and I don't mean straight away because hardly anything does that but you know fast sellers that bring good profit and get my shop basically with better things um so yeah these are to going out today so not bad at all along with the ulcers game which i have packed up it is there put it in some cardboard and some bags <laughs> yeah i love that game i'm sad to see it go to be fair <laughs> look what's come back this is the coat that didn't turn up from me posting it in December and then it got delivered after I'd refunded it and the lady stopped messaging me she sent it back still got no messages still got no contact but she sent it back happy 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 days I was right to trust her I don't have to worry about you know, like somebody screwing me over sort of thing, which, well, that's what I was upset about. The fact that I thought someone was nice and then they just completely ignored me. I've got my coat back. <laughs> so that is going back on my eBay now. So yeah, what I will say is while I'm doing this, getting my 90 day total up and bringing my listings down, obviously returns will be going back on, but I will make sure that I tell you all about them. But yeah, really pleased with that great result happy for many reasons um so yeah Yay. <laughs> okay so i have a question from sage scott thank you very much for your question it's about basically how i post or dispatch my items so basically what we do is if we have a real big amount of stuff and it's heavy it's big it's bulky because we don't drive, we get it picked up by our local courier or by Royal Mail, depending on who our customer has chose to go with for that parcel. So I use both. I use every and Royal Mail. So if I have a massive amount of parcels, I get a collection. And that means that our local courier, local postman will come and they just collect them all and take them for us. We print off all our labels at home because we've got a label printer and um, yeah, go from there. But most of the time when it's when it's during the week, when it's not so busy and we've only got like clothing and stuff like that, we use my trolley, Pamela, and we put all the parcels in there, put anything else on the top. Rob will carry a few and we just take them to drop off. We tend to do that as well if we are already going out to the charity shops or we've got other places to be. We just drop them off on the way because it saves us about 80 pence a parcel, which is a lot of money when you're sending a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I hope this helps. Um, let me know if there's any more questions. And, um, yeah, I will try and cover them the best I can. I've got another question from CJJ Jones. So thank you for your question. So they want to know where I get my packaging from. Basically, because I have a shop, we, well, 
because I have a shop and Rob has a shop, we get vouchers every month. We get a £10 off voucher towards packaging. So we use that. Um, I buy bags and um, tape and shrink wrap. We, pack, we buy the shrink wrap ourselves, so that doesn't that isn't covered on the voucher. But anything that's eBay branded, we get with our vouchers. We usually have to put a bit towards it because the packaging's gone up. It used to be a case of that you lost out on a couple of pound, but now you use all of your voucher, and we usually have to pay a couple of pound towards it. Cost of living and all that. So yeah, um, but we do get a lot of our packaging and newspapers and stuff like that from Rob's auntie Nikki and Rob's grandma and granddad. They send us a lot of stuff. So, yeah, we don't actually pay for any boxes because we get loads that way. A big tip I can give you is going, if you can, asking at your local shops if they have any spare boxes. Because we did that in the beginning. We had, we needed boxes desperately and our local corner shop gave us loads. So it's always worth asking, getting a relationship with local businesses and getting boxes from them. At the end of the day, nine times out of 10, they need to pay for them to be taken. So you're doing them a favor or they need to store them somewhere until they get collected, even if they don't pay. So you're doing them a favor if you take the boxes because they don't want to be storing them. So ask, don't be afraid. Okay, I've got some sales to show you. So these are part of my clear out, get my 90 day total up. First sales, look at the dust, it's ridiculous. You put something down, the dust flies everywhere. <laughs> I do clean, I promise. It's the old stuff, it's this sort of stuff. Anyway, cut a long story short. I've had these about a year. I paid 75p for them. I haven't even taken the label off the actual packaging they came in, but I, I aren't gonna send them in this, obviously. These are a bunch of equestrian themed fine china thimbles and they have sold for four pounds 30 plus postage um yeah paid 75 pence um i've only got one set left i thought i had i thought these were the last ones i bought loads of them loads of packs like this 75p i've sold them all apart from two so this is one of them i've got one left that have floral designs on i believe and i don't think they're a sought after because obviously I mean, flowers are flowers, aren't they? I think most things have flower patterns on, whereas my royal ones and my nursery rhyme ones and these ones have gone now. These ones have taken a while, but there's quite a few in there. So I'm hoping whoever's got these is a thimble collector and they love them. Right, this lovely Basler jacket was on a recent video. It's only been listed literally about a week and it's gone on an offer for £16.50 plus postage. This cost me £3.50 from Vinted. So this was one of my Vinted sales. I have got a story coming up for you when I get the return about something that I sold on Vinted, but that is for another time. I will tell you all about that when it comes back. This is interesting. Bearing in mind we're in February, and we'll still be in February when this video goes out. I haven't backed up that much. <laughs> Um, yeah, what I've sold in here, let's see if I can open it without destroying anything. It's not Disney, by the way, it's just a Disney box that they're in. Okay, I have sold, I'm going to be very careful with these, two, can you see what they are? Vintage Christmas baubles, one in like a teardrop shape and the other one is round. They've both got the same pattern on. £16 plus postage for those two in February. <laughs> I do realise there are people out there that love Christmas, use things also for crafts, collect these things too. Um, my daughter will be like this, my middle daughter. She'll be buying Christmas stuff all year round when she's older. She loves Christmas. She talks about it all through the year. So there are people out there that buy Christmas things any time of year. Anyway, £16 for those two, not bad at all. They are very fine glass. I started out with four of these and I smashed two of them. <laughs> so you can imagine how gutted I am of all that. I think these cost me a pound each at the car boot, or it might have even been a pound for the four. They weren't very expensive at all. It was um, when I went to the North Cave 
car boot last year in summer so it was like august time um yeah actually no it wasn't these weren't from that these were from i think these were from walton street carbo in hull but again august time last year so it was around the same time so there's no point arguing with myself really but yeah it just shows don't take your christmas stuff off i've got watchers on santa clauses all sorts. In fact, I sold my Santa throwing a snowball in January. Um, so I tend to keep things on. And you know what? The prices don't really come down. I mean, this proves it. £16 for two baubles. I mean, wow. I'm blown away. So, yeah, that is it. I will be showing um, updates on my 90 day total and my listing count going down. Um, but obviously sometimes it's not going to go up because number one, I sell things like this that are going like four pounds something because I'm having clearing out all this stuff. I aren't going to buy any more stuff that's worth under 15 pound. That's my aim. Maybe even under 20 if I can get away with that. But I still got, I've still got some stuff left that's worth holding on to and getting rid of. I mean, 75p into four pound 30, not too bad. Like I said, I've had those quite a while, so it's not the best, but it's profit nonetheless and something out the door. Rather better than giving it to charity or, you know, like losing out on the money. I don't mind giving things back to charity, don't get me wrong. I do that all the time. When we get a bag through, I fill it. But things like this, I'm just like, it's going to get broken in a charity bag. So I'd rather hold on to it and try and sell it myself. But yeah, not bad. I think you can agree. Right, so yeah, as I was saying... I will be oh hello. I will be showing you my 90 day total, but please bear in mind that things drop off because it's only 90 days, so it sort of moves along. Things at this end drop off, things at this end move on. And I'm hoping that February is gonna be a busy month and we are gonna get loads of sales in. So let's see how we get on with it. I'm so nervous, you can tell, can't you? I've never done anything like this before. I hope it's interesting because I don't think any other reseller has done this before on YouTube. I don't think they've done a whole month without sourcing, without buying anything, without putting anything on their shop and seeing how they can get on that month with their 90 day total and get their listings down. So, <laughs> yeah, let's see how that goes. It may be a trend. It may not be. We'll see. It could be a massive fail, but I'm hoping it's not going to be. <laughs> Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will say this guy here is not for sale. He's Dexter's and I've put him up here because I need to fix him. He's got a big hole in his back. Which I don't understand how it's happened, but you know, it's boys, isn't it? He could have wrestled him or whatever and he's popped his seam. So I'm going to sort him out. <laughs> totally unreseller related there, so I do apologise. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about my challenge that I'm doing. Um, I'm so nervous about it. I'm worried that I'm hardly going to shift anything and my 90 day total is going to go down. <laughs> and then you're all going to be like, well, that was pointless. But in a way, it's not because I want to see it. My experiment is to see whether you can actually keep your shop going and make money without listing new things. I'm obviously going to be selling similar on old stock to try and get rid of it. Um, it has been working up to now. I mean, all the things that I've showed you today. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are old stock or well, things I've had for over a month. And they say, don't they, that eBay tends to hide your items after a month. New ones come forward and the older ones kind of disappear unless people are searching for that exact thing. So, yeah, it's not impossible to sell things if you don't sell similar. But um, I don't think they get seen as easy. You know, people, impulse buyers won't buy them. It'll be people that are actually looking for that spe 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 the specific thing. Can't speak. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have watched to this point, please put elephant in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, be kind, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Ta-ta!